Hey viewers, quick mandatory heads up, my copy of Horizon Zero Dawn was provided to me free by PlayStation. Besides that, my opinions of the game are my own, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Alrighty, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I've taken my break, I am no longer peckish, and I also had a little bit of rest, so I am ready to head back into the world and be completely overwhelmed by every little thing again, because holy crap, <laughs> there's just so many different theories that can be had about the world, and the story, and the characters, and god. They definitely laid it on thick for, uh, the last couple of hours. And so hopefully it will kind of ease up, although I'm fine if it doesn't. We do have access to the world, however, and we are going to do our darndest to try and accomplish side missions and whatever this is along the way to our other side missions and then main missions. Also, it looks like there are scorched ruins or something going on over here. I want to check that out. But first of all, guess we got to help out with this new quest. Who else needs help? Oh, he's coming for me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Friend. Uh huh. Hello there, friend. What is it that you need? Are you all right, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Um, not exactly. Then I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, told my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. Hunting grounds? You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer and my bowstring snapped and I tripped and, uh, forget it. It, it wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. And talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd be better than I did. Ooh. Is that what I was about to head to? That blue arrow thing? That sounds cool. Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the keeper would talk to me. I think he might be in exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the laws of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. I'll be all right. My father always said our mother had a plan for me before he got run over by a strider anyway. Wow, that's unfortunate. I mean, I could help you out, but if you don't want any help, thanks for the information. I need to get going, Kren. All right, be careful. Especially if you're heading north. Be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up. All right. Begin the hunting trials, level eight. That is... Yep, up here where I was just about to head. Neat. Is that my mount or an enemy? That's my mount. <laughs> or not, actually. All of these are just friendly. Ugh. We need to actually... Oh, there's my mount. It's at the fucking rock. We need to do my tutorial missions. Just so I can get my extra XP. Because I like XP. I like leveling up. So we need to trip machines with shock wires. Three, and then tie down small machine. So we're gonna see what this is like. This should be pretty easy. We just hit this one. It takes two to knock down a strider. Neato. And then while it's down, you can critical hit it. Nice. It looks like striders can't actually resisted too much. Oh, and this guy's getting away. Come back, Strider! You're not going to escape your fate! Get 
damn it. Well, the good news is it looks like if you miss, it actually doesn't count your, uh, your miss shot as wasted ammo. That's nice. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm killing you. Although I just learned and confirmed by accident that if you tie an enemy down, you are capable of overriding them with the... Well, I'm gonna call it the corruption stick. <laughs> okay. So we can try that out on other types of enemies. Did, what was I able to use it on again? <laughs> it gave me a whole set of information, but I don't know if uh, I can access it here. Collectibles. Oh, geez. Metal flower, ancient vessels, Banuk figure. Ah, oh, crap. There's going to be a whole set of other things for me to collect. I wonder how much I actually am going to end up doing. I kind of... I don't really like going for pointless collectibles, but if there are collectibles that can help me out, i definitely go for them. Oh, you know what? We never modified my outfit. Hold on. Crafting. Modify outfit. What do we got? Uh... Resist fire. I really like the, that this is purple. That looks like a big bonus. I think... It might be tempting for me to go for this one. Resist freeze and range attacks. Stealth weave might be nice too. I'll grab that. Why not? It'll help me out just a smidge. Okay, anything else that I could care for? Well, this is a cheap upgrade. We'll grab that. Trip caster ammo, also a cheap upgrade. I grab all the level one stuff. Potions, yes. Now that we're actually starting to find potions in the world and constantly fill up on it, gonna need that. Now we'll grab this. Ooh, I can actually upgrade to this level four. No more upgrades available. Oh, that's maxed out. Well, there you go. We're maxed out on resource inventory capacity. Uh, that's worrisome, actually. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. Apparently, we're also going to need fish meat or something. In order to level up some stuff, that means we gotta go fishing. I haven't seen any fish in the game yet, but I actually haven't really been trying, right? I haven't been looking in the water that much. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Although, now I'm curious. Can I tie a boar down? Whoops. Alright, I got a little cocky. Uh, I take back my statement. You can actually waste ammo from the ro the rope cast or whatever. It just happens to be different. If you shoot in the air and miss, it doesn't count. It will just retract back. If you shoot and hit an item or the ground, then I guess it does count. Because it tries to grab the ground, I suppose. I wonder if we have to do any puzzles with this thing. Or, well, the rope cast, that is. Get over here. Uh, mount. I'm not actually gonna ride it. I just wanted to call it because it was still at the rock. Alright, 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 alright. But only for a second. Because I wanna go fishing. Although I don't know where the fish actually are, so maybe we'll have to be told about it later on. Go to the Nora hunting grounds. Begin the hunting trials. Oh, it's just right up that rock. Well. Before I do anything, I still need to do a couple of tutorial things. What could that noise possibly be? Doing that. I think I finally, now that I've slept on it, I think I, I understand why I keep on doing that. So, there are a lot of games that I play where you can prone on the ground or crouch and swap between those positions, and pressing jump 
will usually just make your character stand up, and then if you press jump again, it'll allow you to jump. That's what's ingrained in my mind. Trying to just stand up. It's merge systems, man. Merge systems. Oh no! What are you going to do? You better charge at me! <laughs> Let's try something out. What happens if we override this thing? Will it just fight? I guess you guys think it will just fight for me. Hunter, watch her! Come! Can they actually go in the water? Uh-oh. I laugh if they just kind of- They're just gonna stare at each other! They don't want to go over the water! <laughs> oh, they're yelling at each other now. Oh, they're shooting at each other! Holy shit! Oh, this is- this fight just became epic. They're like, doing the equivalent of yelling at each other over the river. My guy's losing, though. That's bad. Well, while this one's distracted, maybe I can do something. Look at that! I can use infected, or well, friendly units to distract the enemies and still be able to stealth attack them if they start the fight. That's awesome. That's gonna be incredibly useful to me. Although it looks like corrupted enemies kind of end up attracting a shitload of attention. La! Survive! <gasps> I can have more than one? I wonder how much that can go up to. Oh, I have curiosities, man. Override tool recharging. Oh, so there is a cooldown on this thing. I can't just keep on spamming it. At least not one after another. Okay. That makes sense to me. Ooh, razors have sparkers and blaze? That's good. Alright, hold on. I want to see if we can pin down the board. <laughs> he died! He died trying to get out of the, the rope! That's sad, but... Oh well. Can I hurt these guys to kill them before they fucking do anything? Yeah, okay. But will they betray me back? It does look like attacking them... ...will lower the amount of, uh... ...well, friendliness or overridedness that they have. Okay. Well, that works out in our favor, actually. I, I'd prefer that. So that way I can clear them out. And not having enemies just sitting there, waiting to betray me. Alright. Where in the heck is another machine? Are you kind of scared off a shitload of grazers? Did I complete my thought process about the grazers having a ton of items? I don't know if I did. <laughs> But, yeah, I like that the Grazers have the... a bunch of materials on them that we can take advantage of. We're gonna need to make sure to do that in the future. Okay. Can I set fire to grass? No. <laughs> This isn't Far Cry, man. Being able to override you would help. Now how do I learn that? What was that sound? I blew the guy up. Alright, that should be my tutorial, right? Or did I have to do it on smaller targets? Oh. Try to 
trip three machines with shock wires. What the heck? That's- I've done that! I just did that! On watchers and on grazers. So... What does it mean by that? Does it have to be in target? Because it doesn't actually really super tell me. It just says this combat challenge will help you learn its utility and hone your skills. But the objective is literally trip machines with shock wires. Maybe it means like as they run away from me and not like lure them into it. Oh, I shot the wrong thing. Hey, guys! Fucking damn it. That's not what I want. Oh, yes, it is actually. Run away! Into it! Aha! Oh, did I just. Do I have to just have the mission selected? I don't even know anymore, man. This is what I should have done in the last trial. Damn it! Ah, duh, duh. This is probably what some hunters feel like in real life. <laughs> they fucked it up. <laughs> the deer got away and they fell into a puddle of water in the cold. Sometimes you just have to accept it. Man, shock wire is ridiculously expensive. Eight blazes and eight shards. Shards aren't so bad. But the blazes are going to be really irritating to me. I mean... Safe. For a few minutes, anyway. Brazers are a pretty easy source. So... At least we have that. Okay. Can I get a trophy for shooting a watcher's eyeball as it was charging its attack? Cause, uh... Ooh. <laughs> that could've been a lot worse. So there we go, we got my tutorial... ...missions finished. Them soon enough. Even though... Oh, this guy's defending his little fox friend! The boar and the fox! Coming to you! Hey, you guys wanna hear a disappointing story? I've never actually watched... The fox and the hound. I've always seen the beginning and the end. But I've never seen the in-between stuff. And if I have, well, it's completely forgotten in my mind. It is called the fox and the hound, right? Fox and hound. M movie? Yeah, it's called the fox and the hound. Never saw it, or never fully watched it. Especially as an adult. Maybe one day. One day. There are a lot of little movies I need to catch up on. And big movies! But for now, I have to survive the post-apocalypse. Would this be like post-post-apocalypse? Or is this just straight up post-apocalypse? Because, I mean, the world's in a state of... Not dead. So... Obviously, the cataclysmic event isn't happening. However, usually when post-apocalypse happens in stories, it refers to, like, the immediate after, or, like, the during, like, the recovery period. Would this still be considered a recovery period? Or this be a, would this be a further recovery of a recovery period? Because, I mean, we have fucking tribes and civilizations going on, man. They've gotten to the point where they can bitch about their cultures to each other. That's how, like, safe the world is in comparison to whatever happened before. Although, I guess I'm making a big assumption about a massive cataclysmic event killing off everybody. Because that's, like, the closest thing that we can think of when, oh, why did all of society regress when we had the ability to make I'll save the shooting for that? The hunting ground. What? Oh, what? So I can't kill the turkey? That's fine. I just wanted to aim at those guys. Hello! Are you a merchant? You're just a merchant. 
Okay. Well, this merchant has- Oh my god! A ton, a ton of things! This slow firing but highly accurate bow is best used for long range combat. And can be modified. So is this- Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Oh my god! I just wanted to play the movie to see if this was like a normal arrow. Because I'm trying to replace my my hunting bow. There we go. Okay, so... This is our bow right now. The hunter bow. Lightweight bow trades power for faster reload and firing time, and is good for short to medium range combat. Fire arrows can be ignited, or can ignite blaze casters and backpacks. And then you have Karja ones, which is, or the Karja bow, which is a precision one. Which I guess can do more damage and also shoot corruption arrows? Or armor piercing rounds? I want, I want to see more about that. And then what's the difference between the Karja tripcaster and our tripcaster? Karja one uses... Wait, hold up, that's not it. Karja one can use Fire? And lightning, by the looks of it. Neato! Oh, okay. That's an explosive bow. Not a... Not a fire one. Or uh, not fire bow, or explosive bow. It's a explosive tripwire. Neat! And then we have this shadow sling. This slow firing sling lobs elemental bombs with a large area effect. Best used to inflict elemental states on targets, making them vulnerable to follow up attacks. I want all of this stuff. But I'm happy to see some better gear. Look at this Nora Protector Heavy. Nora Braves Armor, reinforced for the front of the war party. This metal, the metal casing breastplate, uh, breastplate protects against melee attacks. Does it look the same as the. Light one? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh shit, look at that! Ice Hunter! Cured hide and fur interwoven with machine plates protect the wearer from freeze damage. Will we ever actually have to worry about that a whole bunch? Bonok Sickness Eater protects from corruption damage. I don't know if I'll ever use anything like that. Like, I might grab the Nora Protector one because melee damage, but. This other stuff is kind of like, uh, do I really need resistance to elemental attacks? Maybe, maybe. This item provides fast travel to a single discovered campfire or settlement throughout the world. Ooh. And we currently have zero of these. I'm gonna buy them. So in the future, I have to use a fast travel pack to fast travel. Gotcha. What the heck is a rattler? This close-range bolt gun fires multiple projectiles with each shot and is best used when accuracy is not as important as landing multiple hits. Oh! It sounded like a shotgun, but it's more like a little burst fire close-range weapon. I guess I could use that. Uh, when it's necessary. When it's necessary. We might buy the cheap sling. But not right now. So many options for combat, and we're slowly learning. Hello. I spoke to Kren. He told me this is a hunting grounds where you offer tests of skill. Poor Kren. Not the best hunter. But at least he keeps his chin up. Hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. Okay. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? For sure. Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. Oh, I owe nothing to them. Don't worry. Tell me about the trials. 
The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. Okay. So, I could possibly get decent gear from doing the trials? That makes them a priority. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. <laughs> Me neither. It's okay. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the Sacred Land and returned. The Matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. I like this guy. I agree with his beliefs, at least so far. Well, I'm ready to go. Which tools trial would you like to try? I'll explain how it works. Oh, there's a bunch of them? Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot. Blast wire. This trial requires you to bring grazers down with blast wires. But you'll need the Karja Tripcaster and ammunition to do it. My friend here may have them for sale. Damn it, I had to buy things. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Okay, sure, I can do that one. I don't need to buy anything That's a good for it. One. Timing begins once you slide down a rope. Okay, so for this one, I have to remove canisters from grazers. We're gonna craft some arrows. I'm gonna prove myself in these trials. I should do it fair and square. All right. Let us mark everything around here. Razors! This is also a good opportunity to see how many targets I can have marked at once. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, that's good. I, I don't think I should ever need to mark more than eight machines, but. All right, I can't mark the other ones because they're too far. So we'll have to test that out later on. All right. To override these machines, I'll have to find out where they came from. So, 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 let's rumble. I have to, in a single minute, remove 10 canisters. So far, so good, honestly. Well, oh no, no. Oh thank god I dodged that. Didn't mean to kill you, I'm sorry! The rest of the herd's getting away. I might have failed these trials. Calm, calm. But we'll see. I can't fucking see. Never mind. Fucking grass. <laughs> You are staying here with me, friend! One of you is... Yeah! Right on time. Oh, hey, friend. Oh. 
So what I probably should have done there was actually start the fight off with my rope caster or ro yeah rope caster and if I had started that off it would have been a little bit better, uh, better position I could have just fired out a bunch of them but that's what the trials are for to learn new techniques and to prove ourselves capable how do I get back up easily oh, over here yeah I don't need resources right now But I'm happy I was able to shoot off at least six canisters just with my arrows. How'd you? First time, and you win a blazing sun. Sweet! You're good, even for Nora. So, you have what looks like three... Three different rewards. And the all and the highest one would obviously be Blazing Sun. And we for this so for this one we're done with that. Let's try the log pile trial. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Say what? Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. Okay, well, give me a second. I should go. Come back when you're ready. Nito. We even got a level up too, nice. Let's look at things. So we have uh choices to consider. It's gonna be hard for me, honestly, to decide what I want. I might grab silent drop just so we have that. And same thing with precision. I think I might grab silent drop and precision just so we can say we have the entire first levels unlocked. Or I could save up for one more, get an extra ammo crafter and start making my way down to Scavenger and Tinker. These are gonna be incredibly invaluable to me. I don't really care about disarmed traps, although being able to disarm some traps would probably be beneficial to me. If I like accidentally waste them, I kill all the enemies and I'm like, oh, well, uh, whoops. I also would like to get Concentration Plus, but that's gonna require five once I, I have to get Heavy Lifter and this. Everything else I'm fine with not having. Although the strike from above will probably end up being pretty useful too. I want everything. I wonder how higher levels can go, honestly. Okay. For now, we're gonna we're gonna min-max a little bit. We're gonna focus down on getting ammo crafter, scavenger. Then we're gonna go to down towards Tinker, and once we have that, then we can start considering all these other combat abilities. Okay. So. First, let me actually look at the items we have. We have a ton of things standing by. These treasure boxes have uh, a lot of things for us. Let's see what a Nora Blazing Sun reward box can give us. Oh. A metal shards and blaze. That's not as awesome as I was hoping it would be. Oh, hey, we got a free fast travel pack. That's nice. Trampler lens. What the hell's a trampler? Neat. Detonating blast trap tool. Look at all these items that I didn't know we had. I mean, I knew we had the boxes, but I haven't been opening them because I'm like, Oh, I don't have the resource space for it. But now that, but now that I'm at 100, I might as well open all of them. Oh, modifications. At the very least, it looks like if we're, if we're full, and we can't actually grab the items, the box will stay there. So I shouldn't resist opening these up, actually. Alright, let me craft something real quick. We need to have more carrying capacity. So I can grab these. And probably sell them off, honestly. I, we're probably gonna sell a bunch of these. So I need... A Karja Tripcaster in order to be able to shoot the item I need. Or wait, hold on. Let me talk to him again. Ready to try another? What did we need to do again for the blast wire trial? 
This trial requires you to bring grazers down with blast wires, but you'll need the Karja tripcaster and ammunition to do it. Yeah, okay. So, bye -bye. I have to go. I'll be here. Karja tripwire, Karja tripwire. Looks like we can be able to afford it. Let's see, 180. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I also wanted to grab the the Karja sling. Oh, the Karja Sling doesn't actually do what I need. If I buy the Shadow Sling, will that give me- No. Damn it. So, one thing I also want is the Blast Sling, because I like the sound of that. This slow firing mechanism lobs explosive bombs with various trigger mechanisms that are best used for dealing high impact and area damage. So this can obviously do a pretty heavy amount of damage, but also, apparently it can scare enemies into running away in certain directions for us. Which would be a great, great, great tool to have for doing that trial. Oh well. For now, we'll just get the Karja Tripcaster. Because that's a necessity. Uh, we'll replace the normal Tripcaster with it because it's a pretty much straight upgrade. And we'll sell some stuff. Modifications! Don't need all of these green ones. These are definitely... Gotta get rid of them. Although I do wonder. If I can, like, eventually combine these together, that'd be cool. But basically, anything that's green, I don't really care about right now. Unless it has, like, two stats. Then maybe I care about it. Or if it's blue. If it's blue or above, I'm not gonna be destroying it anytime soon. Oh, look how much more money we got from that. Jeez. I can also... Sell my original tripcaster now because I'm not gonna need it, right? Yeah, there's no <laughs> There's no need for it. Goodbye. I wonder if I can ever upgrade my spear. Oh There's where the override thing is It's listed under spear or under my spear Okay I'll have to look at that. Do I have any only for sale items. I wish they, they've done a very good job of creating a very in-depth system. But it'd be nice if you could highlight items that are only able to be sold for merchants. Like, just have a button there like, oh, click R3 and sell all junk items. That'd be a nice button. A lot of games already have something like it. Oh well. <sighs> oh. Huh. You've acquired a new powerful a powerful new weapon, the Karja Tripcaster, capable of firing new ammunition types. This combat challenge will help you learn its utility and hone your skills. So I can actually That's funny. I could actually get tutorials for every or every level of a weapon type. Well, how much does it take to make the ammunition for it? It is five blaze? Yeah, five blaze, four wire, and eight shards. Okay. I'll make a couple of those. Let's try this out. Looking forward. Let's rumble, blast Use wire. Use your blast wire and card your trip caster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Mm, fine, Time I'll buy the damn I'll blast here. sling. I was hoping that, uh, <laughs> I wish the... The Karja sling had the same ammunition stuff. That's frustrating. Because I do want to eventually have the sling types. So it frustrates me that they're kind of separated like this, but I guess it makes sense if you have the arrows or like the bows being separated too. All right, that means we gotta sell something. Uh, what can I get rid of that I don't care for? I could sell some of these health potions. We'll sell three health potions. And then we'll be good. I could also get rid of one of these. 24% corruption, 17% handling, but 
I know in the future I'm gonna want I want really good modifications. I'll get rid of the green stuff completely. I, I do not I'm not worried about them right now. The fact that we're starting to get blues and, and purples means that by the time I get the abilities that I want, aka once I get Tinker, we're gonna be in a far, a far better position. Also, we'll eventually have Scavenger Plus. So that should be super beneficial for getting modifications as well. Okay. So, let me do this. Uh, I, I didn't buy the weapon. Here we go. Blastling! Equip. Top slot. Tutorial Blastling. Would you like to give it another go? Yes. Blast wire trial. Use your blast wire and Karja Tripcaster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Hope you enjoy it. I'll start timing when you slide down one of the ropes. Okay. Oh, there are multiple ropes? Oh, I didn't know that. But this is a time-based trial, so I might as well just, uh... Mark everybody. And head down the main rope. Kill grazers using the Karja Tripcaster. Okay. So... Oh. This is gonna be intriguing. This is gonna be very, very intriguing. Uh, we'll make some blast bombs. I have to kill a certain amount. I don't know how many, but I guess we'll find out. I just keep on accidentally pressing L2. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Kill six grazers using the tripwire. Wire didn't hit too far. Damn it. Check out that noise. I said check out the noise. You fuckers. There we go! Now the party starts! Yeah! <laughs> All right! Three grazers down! Okay, this should be pretty easy. What we have to do is scare them away from that area. Fire the hole! Ah, uh, they didn't run in the direction I need them to. That's okay. We got this. Ooh, big spooky sounds! No! No, I need you- I need you to head this way. Fuck. We can still do this. I'm gonna get that damn gold on the first try. You guys are fucked. Ah! Run! Fear me! Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> that was so mean of me. <laughs> he 
He's like limping away, barely alive, and I just put another trap in front of him. Whoopsie. I deserve that. <laughs> okay. I got a little worried there because I spent the entire first minute going, uh, what do I do about this? I was trying to lure a grazer into their death. And it didn't work out. Yeah, this would be a great place to be, be able to pick up my items again. Yeah. It's funny because I'm probably going to get a level up from doing this mission. Can I activate my traps? I'm not even going to encourage that thought process. <laughs> I usually do. I usually just walk straight into my things to see, oh, will it hurt me? I think I've learned my lessons for now. Alright, I might as well restock this time. Last time I kind of left the field without really considering that I used resources and I'm gonna need to restock on them. Although, now that we have this blast sling, we're pretty alright. I don't know how often I'm gonna use this blast sling, honestly. Uh, I guess maybe against heavier targets, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. <laughs> Eventually I'll get it, don't worry. I'm surprised there isn't an ability to like reget or regain arrows from wildlife and machine kills. But I guess I guess my weapons up here. It'd be cheating. Against machines, that would definitely be. <laughs> I'd like to get 15 arrows that are broken off in this machine's back. Doesn't work out. How'd you? First time, and you win a blazing sun. You're good, even for Nora. Thank you! So how about that log pile trial? This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. Alright. I like that one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing. <laughs> I like crushing my enemies with wood. Okay. So yep, there you go, we leveled up. Uh, ammo crafter, yeah, we'll definitely need that. You kill machines using the log pile traps in the area. The problem is, I don't know what log pile traps look like. I guess they're, I'm gonna prove myself they're that. In trials. I should do it fair and square. This will probably be the one I don't get a gold on immediately. Or a blazing sun! Because it will require... Oops, I'm trying to mark... There we go, the watcher in the back. It's gonna require me to take them out with the logs. And I have no idea how we're gonna do that. Effectively. So, do I just shoot them out? I see. So let's find another one. We have we have another set here. We have to. Gotcha. We need to kill three machines with it. That means we need to blast away and shoot. Ah, the noise! Could find a way to override them there. Oh Jesus! Run him over! I miss completely. Hey, guys! You're scared of me! You're really scared of me! God, they could crush me. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Damn it! This is gonna be a little bit harder. Well, that's alright, we'll leave them out. First off, fuck you. 
I'm not dealing with you right now, Watcher. Jesus, boys, calm down! I'm just trying to kill your friends! So these guys need to be, like, painfully close to the arrows, or to the logs. Oh, fuck the thing on his back! Are you kidding me? Ah! Yeah, multi kill! I don't know how many times I'll ever do something like that. That requires me to. This. That requires me to completely know. Oh, there are environmental traps here, and unfortunately. The game has not given me the benefit of just highlighting environmental traps. Or let, at least letting me mark it once I've seen it. That'd be nice. We have so many different ways to take out enemies, and I'll probably only ever use, like, a fraction of them. But, while we're here... We're gonna go back and gain me some shards. I need items. Resources. But we beat everything here. First go for all of it. I'm happy. Wasn't that bad, honestly. Hey. You heard a whistle. Come check it out. It looks like... It looks like they don't listen to lures if they're in an alert state, which is good. They have some, some intelligence. Although once they have lost sight of me, I just noticed that they will eventually calm down. They had a little question mark like, uh, alert, alert. And then the alert gradually was going down. Until I shot them in the face. I can't wait until I run into, like, big enemies. And learn how to take them out effectively. And just get tons of metal shards. Just constant amounts. Oh, hey! This big guy! 50 shards! 100 shards! Although, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Obviously, big targets will, uh... Be hard to take out. But hey, you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. On you see you, and then you die. I'm not sure what the point of slowing down the game is for certain jumps like that. It's kind of like... Maybe in the future we'll run into things where I can change my direction in the middle of the slowdown, but... I'm either gonna make the jump, or I'm gonna die. Don't slow me down for it. How'd you... First time, and you win a blazing sun. You're good, even for Nora. Shrez doesn't say anything you different. everything you need to enter the Hunter's Lodge. Good luck in Meridian. Of course, you can still run more trials with me. Well, I don't need to because... I already beat everything. I assume that we don't really get anything else from here. This is a good place to get resources, though. Because it just respawns all the enemies. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring- You've already won three half-sons, so you're eligible to join. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. All right. I have to go. I'll be here if you decide to come back. So, we completed all of our trials. We just got 17,000 experience for finishing it all. So, we're in a- we're in a great position. Look at that. We got two levels again. Oh, I'm... I'm happy. Let me... Set things up. Hunting for the Lodge. Talk to Legan. Where's that? Holy shit! That's not gonna happen for a while. Although, I guess we'll see. It's only level 16, which means it's actually something pretty early on. But it looks like Meridian's a little bit further out than I thought. I thought Meridian was gonna end up being, like, here. Or here. Or even here. But to be over here? Huh. That means the map might be a little bit, or, well, the events might be a little bit smaller and more contained than I thought.
Kill multiple enemies with a single blast bomb. Kill three machines with the uh, blast wires. More XP is nice. So where am I heading to right now, actually? Uh, we're... Supposed to be on our way to the War Chief's Trail. Which is over this way. What is this? Is that a new type of enemy? Viewers, I am... Very curious. Alright, we're gonna head over to the sh ruins, which I guess I can't access yet. But we'll see! If I can't access it, then we'll move on. And I wanna check out what's going on over there. And while we do that... We can do our tutorials real quick. Blastling. Or not blastling, actually. I'm trying to do blast wire because blast wire is easy. Blast wire! All I have to do is make the enemies run away into it. Or stick the blast wire in front of them as they're running. Which is a totally viable strategy that we employed in our hunting ground trials. Oh, there's a campfire down here? Oh, well there you go. Oh, and a quest! It's funny when I run into quests, because I really don't expect it... Because I guess I always have the assumption that the map will always show me if there are new quests available, but it looks like I have to run into them first. Which is sensical. I wonder if I missed any missions back here because I didn't run around the starting area. I should head back to this place eventually. Maybe even sooner. Travel. Yeah. Hello! Merchant. Oh, you know what? I didn't buy the item from him. The free sample box from the other person. Gambler's box. This box must be open to reveal its contents. Mm-hmm. Special. A oh, thousand three hundred shards! Yeah, at some point, we're gonna need to be rolling in money. I like how the Banook armor still looks a little similar to our stuff. Although I guess the Banook might be a more closely related tribe than other stuff. I just want Karja armor. Karja armor looks cool. So we can buy maps, apparently. Special items. An Itaru Botanist's map adds map markers hinting at the location where meadow flowers might be seen. And then, same thing with all this, but this is all collectible stuff. And it costs quite a bit. But, I'm intrigued. I'll take all this. I can always get more shards in the future. Although I hope these don't end up taking slots. I just want things to be added to my map. Yeah, there you go. Vantage, ancient vessel. Holy crap. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, okay. I thought it was gonna apply to this area. No, it's the entire world. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, friend. Hey again, viewers, thank you for watching through this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments. And as a mandatory reminder, this game was provided to me for free by PlayStation. Thank you very much, PlayStation, and again, thank you, viewers.